So where do we start? Well, I probably started at the beginning because uh, that's where I got some of my early ideas working on the in management, working on the farm and in the family canning factory. And, uh, you know, probably um, bad news is good news if you do something about it. I didn't realize it until maybe 20 years later, but it probably came from that because I used to be responsible for the canning line. And if you heard a bad sound, mm -hmm. that was the quickest uh, signal that you might have a problem develop. And since it was a one-line cannery, uh, if, you sh if you shut down one machine, you shut down the whole factory and everybody and you know, everybody was out of, was not able to work until you got it fixed. So you, you look for trouble and uh, got it fixed ahead in, in advance and uh, you know we were able to be run it for many years. Actually my granddad had it for 50 years so it's a uh, it's really fascinating because you're the principle of good news is is no news right. and bad news is good news right. uh, is just so fundamental yeah. and uh, yet uh, it's never heard I never heard it before anywhere yeah well you know one of the things uh, we did a lot of work in Japan and so if you've gone to Nico in Japan there's these three monkeys that people talk about to hear no evil see no evil speak no evil mm -hmm. a lot of CEOs and decision makers and politicians uh, tend to practice that and that is usually leads to the downfall and the bad news is good news is a real counter to that psychologically.